All right, Houston, let's take a look at our very big upcoming weekend in sports. Oh, am I on? You're live on TV right now. I mean, it was a break. Distracted easily. <laughs> I know. Tonight at Minute Maid Park, our Houston Astros are going to take the field, of course, for game three mm. against another team. Uh, we sent reporter <laughs> Stephanie Gary to check out what's cooking at the World Series. You know what? There's some new stuff at the park yeah. for this big series. It's tasty. Take a look. Well, I don't know if you guys have heard, but the World Series is happening right here in Houston. Game three tonight, the Houston Astros are taking on the Dodgers and Chef Dominic Susi, you are the executive chef who is going to be cooking it up for this full stadium. What you got cooking? Well, we got a lot of stuff cooking. We got some special menu items going on for the World Series. You know, we got some special players on the field. We got some special food off the field. So we've got some new items. We've got some new tacos going on. We've got a new waffle cone going on that's a little different than our icon legend. Uh, we've got some loaded funnel cakes going on. We've got a whole new sandwich called the Earn It Burger to kind of coin in with the Earn It Earn History World Series uh, with the Astros. We also have a loaded uh, French fry war kind of sort of going on between us and LA. Uh, we have the LA queso stack, which is a carnitas. Uh, based uh, loaded fry and we have our icon Houston green chili chicken stack which is a fan favorite here at the ballpark it's part of our new center field areas uh, we've just got a lot of fun stuff going on in the park you know it's the time to be here is, is now what's your favorite thing on the menu what do you recommend that people eat when they come here because it's not all about peanuts and Cracker Jacks right no it's I mean, peanuts and Cracker Jacks are staples they belong here but there's a lot more going on now I personally I like the new savory waffle cone I mean it's mac and cheese it's braised brisket it's it's two of Texas barbecue flavors combined in a waffle cone. It's, it's delicious. Okay, so we're going to dig into that in just a little bit. But first, I want to talk about some of these numbers because this is pretty cool, you guys. Chef Dom actually told me that it took 700 gallons. Well, you guys will serve 700 gallons of nacho cheese over the three days of the World Series. Now, that's enough to actually fit into a 12-person hot tub. Is that how you heat things up, Chef? No, that's not at all how we heat things up. We heat things up in our, in our stands and steamers and on the stove and stuff like that fresh. But uh, that's a lot of cheese. I did not realize it was that much. That, that's quite a bit. That's a heck of a lot of cheese. Now, some other cool things. Now, 19,500 hot dogs, nearly 20,000 hot dogs over the course of the three days, 9,000 orders of nachos, 7,500 soft pretzels, and get this, you guys, 21,000 souvenir sodas. That's a lot of drinking, and uh, you know what? How much toilet paper? That's what I want to know you guys go through here. That's luckily not your uh, realm. No, that's, that's the facilities, guys. We're good on that, but, uh, you know, I, I think... Probably up there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're talking big numbers. We're talking a whole lot of fun. Now, hopefully, you all will be tuning in. Some of you will be here tonight. And uh, if you need a date, let me know because I'm open. Also, if you need a sous chef, let me know, Don. <laughs> we're taking applications. <laughs> uh, perfect. Okay, put mine in. Now, for now, we're going to go dig in because you've been making me look at this food for a long time. Um, and you said what? The, the, waffle? the waffle? The waffle cone? Okay. So I'm going to have to stick my face in this, you guys. And uh, Courtney, Derek, back to you. Tough assignment today. Uh, go Astros. Oh, go I Astros. love it. Seven, oh, my gosh. I love it. And 700 gallons of nacho cheese. Yeah. Do you know what you call cheese that's not your own? Nacho, nacho cheese. cheese. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that's a good that's one, That's a good right? one. That's yeah. the first time you told that joke, right? Ever. Hopefully mm -hmm. it's not the last. <laughs> I know. Or maybe it is. Hey, it by be. the way, also joining us now from Minimaid Park live is Houston Life reporter Stephanie Gonzalez. She raced down there to get in on a bit of the excitement. Steph, what's going on? Guys, so getting here was insane. There's so much traffic already. Everyone just wants to come down here to Minute Maid Park. And you can see this is just the calm right before the storm. People are coming here. They're getting their gear. They're getting pictures taken right in front of our beautiful stadium. And you do see some Dodgers fans too, but it's all part of the game. And right here to my left, you see people buying sweatshirts and sweaters, hats, t-shirts. So much fun. Again, this is such an exciting time for our city. The game is tonight at 7.20. 20 p.m. here. Make sure you get your tickets. And also, if you don't have tickets, keep watching Houston Life. We are giving away two tickets to Sunday's game. So make sure you watch, call in, and also don't forget that uh, the guys had a big, big game, um, our last game, game two, and we actually caught up with Lance McCullough. So let's hear what he had to say. I think that our guys showed a lot of um, a lot of heart. Showed that we were a really uh, relentless group. Um, so you, you hats off to them, man. They were they were swinging the bats and uh, guys coming in doing their job. Um, but I, I'm excited. Um, I, I feel really good, and I just have to uh, continue to you know stick with my plan and 
and um, you know, stay within the moment. All right, so there are so many fans that want to be on camera right now, but we're running out of time. So, uh, guys, again, make sure to tune in, watch the game tonight, 720. And if you want to be here at Minute Maid Park, keep watching Houston Life. Someone will get two tickets to the match. All right, guys, back to you. I think I'm going to go buy me a, a sweatshirt. Absolutely. That's the place to be, Steph. Thanks so much. Go Astros. So excited for this. Let's switch gears and take a look at what's happening in the arts. Mm, sounds good to me. If you are looking to get artsy in H-Town and also want a bit of a scare, you can head over to jo Jones Hall tonight and check out the Alfred Hitchcock suspense thriller Psycho. Mm. The already bone-chilling flick will be made even more creepy with a live score performed from the Houston Symphony. This will be fantastic. Oh my gosh, so much fun. This weekend at Hobby Center, Seraphim Hall, the Houston Ballet presents Poetry in Motion. It's a variety of performances, including George Balanchine's Symphony in C, Christopher Wielden's Carousel, a dance, and the Houston Ballet premiere of Stanton Welch's Powder. All the info is online at HoustonBallet.org. And why not celebrate Halloween at the Museum of Fine Arts this weekend by checking out the award-winning vampire western Near Dark, a thrilling comedy about a farm boy who's kidnapped by a band of traveling vampires. This movie will give you fright and a laugh. For more information, check out mfah.org. And if you are in the mood for music, the Bayou City has you covered this weekend. Tonight at Cynthia Woods Mitchell Pavilion, country star Chris Stapleton takes the stage at 7 p.m. Chris was a rodeo favorite last year. I went to the show, loved it. He's back with a brand new album, by the way. I'm sure tonight's going to be a great show. Oh, it will be fantastic. Also, another local country favorite, Jason Cassidy, is performing tonight at Big Texas in spring. Don't worry, you can still catch the Astros game. Jason's not going to take the stage until 1045. Smart performer there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, how about a little... Uh, Mm -hmm, but you remember uh, Hanson? I do. The brothers, like the young kids with the hair? I do remember they them. They are back. The brothers from the 90s, they will play House of Blues tonight at 7. Their hair uh, looks a little different now. Looks Ooh, like they it. do. Well, this one got a haircut, but great to know they're still around, that trio. I love it. Awesome. Go House of Blues. Also happening at the House of Blues, the oh-so-famous Blues Travelers. Oh, Huge favorites. Cool. They're awesome. Be here tomorrow night. Tickets are still available, and the show will start at 7 p.m. Okay, as always, there is so much to do in the Bayou City this weekend. And stay tuned, because later in today's show, if you haven't heard yet, we're going to tell you how you can win two tickets to Sunday's World Series game at Minute Maid Park. We'll be giving those tickets tickets away live sometime during today's show, so be sure to stay tuned in. Yeah, don't change the channel. Also, coming up next, we're going to tell you about a family-friendly and free event this weekend where you can experience all things Egyptian. Stay tuned.